Hello, my name is Antonio De Vecchi. I'm gelato maker at Gelato Village. What we do here is making gelato according to the traditional Italian way of mantecazione, let's say, which is the Italian way of churning gelato. The way we make gelato here at Gelato Village is using just, just and only natural ingredients. The basic ingredients for gelato are milk, cream, and any other um, ingredients that will bring flavor to the recipe, like in this case, the honey. We get the honey from the bee farmer in Leicestershire and the milk from a vine farm dairy in Great Talbot. Starting from the raw natural ingredients, we carefully measure them in order to balance the recipe and stay within a range that will allow us to churn the mix into the perfect final result. In our recipe, we have to concentrate on the amount of sugars that needs to be around 20% and on the amount of fats it needs to be in between 3 and 10%. As long as our recipe is balanced according to this ratio, then we are sure we are going to have the best result. Once we measure all our ingredients together carefully, we need to make sure they are all mixed together correctly in order to achieve an homogeneous mix. This phase is called emulsifying. The next phase of the production, which is very important, is the pasteurization process. All what it does is to make sure uh, we kill the highest amount possible of bacteria in the mix in order to make it safe. As part of the pasteurization process, it's all about heating the mix up to, in this case, 85 degrees, which is the ideal temperature to kill the bacteria and mix the components together, and then cooling it down to fridge temperature about 4 degrees. And finally, we are happy to go to the final stage of the production, which is the churning phase. The mix comes as a fluid. We want to transform it into gelato. So the machine is doing basically two jobs at the same time. It's cooling very quickly, it's freezing very quickly uh, the mix, and at the same time it's beating. As part of the churning process, we transform a fluid into a solid. During this process, we inevitably add some bubbles of air in our product, and that helps also to achieve the right texture. So the volume we're starting with as a fluid will increase when we achieve the solid. The gelato can be kept on a long-term storage at minus 20, exactly like you use a freezer at home. So that allows us to keep it safely for a longer time. Once we reach the service temperature, which is minus 12 degrees Celsius, it's an irreversible process. So we can go to a lower temperature. We now go back into the lab, we make, finally, the Fiori Mele Gelato. And if you want, come here to Gelato Village, San Martin Square in Leicester, and enjoy it.